The packing materials you will need to pack your Bike Friday ticket into the suitcase are a wide yellow cloth bag for going over the folding stem, two narrow yellow cloth bags for going over the stem riser extension and the seat post, two red bags for going over the handlebars, got the two pieces of the uh, crush protector tube, a uh, small piece that goes in the end of the front axle, piece of cloth with a velcro strap to go around the mainframe, a tool bag and multi-tool, and the long uh, grey fork bag. The first step will be to fold the ticket, so I'm going to start off by doing the pedals, release the latch, I'm just going to pause here for a second. Um, when we put the bike in the suitcase we need to fold it a little bit tighter, what we call the overlatch. So in this position, leave the seat post all the way up and the rear end will then fold up that little bit further and the seat post can be lowered as normal. This particular bike is a Model T, so I'm just going to unfold the stem. Okay. So this has the star-shaped knob, there may also be a T-shaped knob on your, on your bicycle. Um, the next step will be to remove the front wheel. So I have to undo the front V-brake by pulling together and lifting the noodle out of the carrier. Undo the quick release lever, then hold the nut and wind the lever to remove the wheel from the bike. Place that wheel to one side for the time being. We then need the grey fork bag. I'm just going to do the front brake back up. The fork bag slides over. It's pulled up nicely there. And then we will need the uh, piece of frame wrap cloth. This just goes around the main frame to prevent the chain hitting it. So pull this up for a second. the velcro strap to keep it in place. This is basically just stops the chain from hitting the underside of the frame when it's packed. Open the 5mm palm wrench and loosen the uh, seat clamp. Let's take the saddle out. So, before we put the bike in the case, we're going to oh, point to note that the bicycle should be in the lowest gear, so in the big sprocket on the back. That's gear number one on the shifter. Now, I'm going to turn the fork of the bicycle so that the brake faces the derailleur. On some sizes of bike, you may need to be careful to uh, just rotate the derailleur so the, it will nestle between the fork blades. And on the travel tickets, where the dual drive click box is sticking out at the end of the hub here, um, again, a little bit more care taken, but it will fit to nestle around together with a bit of uh, careful maneuvering. Okay, so now we'll just leave the stem loose for the time being, pick up the whole package. We're going to need the pedal to be that orientation. Make sure that the drive side pedal is at the back of the case away from you. Again make sure the fork is facing downwards. Use the 5mm Allen key to loosen the stem extension bolt. so that the stem riser can be removed. The wide yellow cloth bag then slides over the stem riser. Now on the Model T it be necessary to fully remove the knob and the stem latch. For those with the hyperfold there's nothing needs to be done at this step because the Everything can remain attached. 
nice long screw. Let's take it all the way out. And then the bag will then slide fully over the stem to protect the stem plates. Next step, there are then two narrow yellow sleeves for the one to go on the stem riser and one to go onto the seat post. So, we'll put that in in a second. So for the handlebars, then have the red pieces to go over each end of the handlebar. Like so. And you'll need to tuck the end of the handlebar, you have to lift, lift the bike a little bit under the rear wheel so the handlebar sits across the bike like so. And the seat post slide down the back there. Crash protector, bottom piece is going in the bottom of the seat post so it's underneath the rear wheel. Do the pop top piece in a second. First of all, we'll take the front wheel, take the quick release gear all the way out. And to, don't lose the little springs. Wind that back on. Front wheel then sit on top of the bike. There's a piece to protect the end of the axle. And the crush protector will slide through both wheels and through the frame into its lower piece. That stops any forces from compressing the bike in the suitcase. You'll then have the quick release skewer, the twiddly knob and your trusty multi-tool to go in the tool bag. So we'll drop down into the corner of the case and you're ready to shut the case and the bike is packed. You can also use some of the extra space in the case to pack your shoes or your helmet um, and of course the bike trailer will fit in here too if you have that. Um, just bear in mind the airline's weight limits when you're packing for flying. And your ticket is ready to travel.